for modernization of the on-campus venue. Pretty exciting to see there. I'm always up for a good explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff there. All right, let's get right into your weather. Do we have some changes coming up? Let's take a look at satellite radar. That's where we see oh, an implosion, I'm being told. Excuse me, an explosion probably would have been better. Uh, but you can see a lot of high clouds, seeing them going over this ridge of high pressure. And that's kind of going to direct our storm. It's kind of brewing here. A lot of moisture with it, as you can see, over on the Pacific. By the time it reaches us, it's going to be dry and fairly anemic. And it's going to steer it. This ridge will help to steer it. So we're not talking about a major league storm here. We'll even call it a T-ball storm. Not too impressive. So we'll start to see this ridge break down as we get into Monday, and then our low-pressure system will make its way to the north and the east. And what this will bring us is a chance for some rain and snow, mainly to the north, Monday into Tuesday. Then we'll start to see things taper off. We're not expecting a whole lot, maybe two to three inches in the Sangre de uh, Cristo Mountains and the San Juans. We're talking about 7,500 feet and above. So a pretty weak system. Other areas could see a light dusting. Whatever we do see is not going to last long, and it's going to melt quickly. So we'll see the system exit the the region by Tuesday, and uh, we'll start to get under a nice northwesterly flow and dry things out and have a pretty calm week. 58 degrees right now in Albuquerque. Winds are calm. We will start to see winds pick up by the middle of the week and uh, get some gusty conditions going on the crest. Temperatures we are looking at, there they are, 36 degrees on the crest. Winds are south at 8 miles per hour. Relative humidity is at 24 miles, uh, 24 percent, excuse me. So fairly chilly up there if you're going to see the sunset tonight. Let's do the Numbers right now, northwest New Mexico, 50 degrees in Durango tomorrow, 58 in Farmington. We'll start to see chances for some rain tomorrow, changing over to snow. Not expecting a whole lot for Durango or Farmington out of this thing. So it's kind of a loser storm as far as it's concerned. Another uh, La Nina strikes again, if you will. But by Wednesday, we're going to clear things off, up and cool things down a hair. So we'll start the day with 50 in Durango and then step it down to 45 by Wednesday. Over in southwest New Mexico, a pretty good day for you guys tomorrow. Partly cloudy and calm. And Anywhere from 65 in Alamogordo to 72 in Lordsburg. Unseasonably warm temperatures for this part of the state. <clears throat> Over in southeast New Mexico, a pretty quiet day. We'll have breezy conditions as we get into the p.m. hours. 57 in Fort Sumner, 58 in Carlsbad, mid-50s in Roswell. A very cool night tonight. We'll be dipping out down to the 20s in Roswell. We'll slowly start to warm things up as we get to the middle of the week. We'll get to 74 degrees by Friday. So uh, we're going to kind of have a seesaw of temperatures in the Pecos River Valley. Partly cloudy in the northeast. Isolated rain and snow tomorrow. Not expecting much accumulation. If anything, we'll be looking to the Sangre to Cristo Mountains and the higher elevations for our uh, accumulation. And in the northern mountains, partly cloudy with a chance of rain and snow tomorrow. Maybe a flurry or two uh, in Santa Fe as we get temperatures dropping overnight, but not anything impressive out of this storm. And man, we do need it. We are moisture starved up in those mountains. 50 degrees by Thursday in Santa Fe. Expect windy conditions as we get through the middle of the week. Over in the East Mountains, a pretty good day for you. Starting your Monday, 61 in Moriarty. Same story in Cedar Crest and Tierras Mountain air just a couple degrees cooler. In the metro, calm with some clouds. We'll get slightly breezy conditions as we get into the p.m. hours, and uh, temperature's not all that bad. 62 downtown, and as we look at the seven-day forecast, it's going to be pretty good for Albuquerque. No rain out of this thing or snow, but uh, we'll start to see winds pick up a little bit and temperatures drop slightly. Yeah, pretty boring, though. Me? No, well, <laughs> well, both. No, the weather forecast. Yes, it's, it's a fairly boring forecast. Okay. All right, thank you, Ian. Here's a look at the